so yeah if you've liked this video then make sure you subscribe to my channel i'll be doing a few more videos like this uh, and if you've got any questions then just comment or you can message me on instagram every single day Okay, so I've got Ed ready to be lunged. Now, on Instagram, a few people have asked, um, because if you've got me on Instagram, you'll see that I post quite a few pictures and videos of my horses in the Pessoa. And a few people have asked why I use the Pessoa so much. Um, now, I probably use it on Ed once a week. And for those of you that knew Ed <laughs> when he first came, will know that he was quite skinny and massively lacking in muscle. So when I first got him, I probably used it maybe twice a week. Um, and that was just so, <laughs> you got an itch? I could build his muscle up. Here is just, this is just a basic Pessoa. Um, you can get quite expensive Pessoas, but this is quite a cheap one. I think it's off eBay. Um, and then this is just, they don't normally, some of them do come with rollers, but not all of them do. So that's just a basic roller. And then this is just a fluffy sheepskin just because I like to put that under the roller so it's nice and comfy for them. Okay, so the reason why I do like a Pessoa so much is because they have got this behind the bum, it obviously encourages the back end a little bit and encourages them to step through from behind, which then allows them to use the back muscles and everything goes from back to front. Like you want everything to go from leg to hand bit similar with the Pessoa so it encourages the back end which allows them to stretch and use the muscles over the back and then because you do in a minute you'll see one of the ropes the pulleys goes to the bit then it encourages them into the connection so it's just a way of them to become supple over the back and use the top line muscles and build the top line muscles without having a rider on board which when I first got Ed was great because he was not strong enough for me to be riding him so Pessoa and him was the only way really of me building his muscle up and allowing him to work in a contact before I could ride him. I don't really think he's in the mood. The first way I'm gonna show you is I'm going to, so you'll see here we have two clips. One of them which has a little rotating pulley on. So this is the one that I'm gonna clip onto his bit. And then with this one, I'm gonna clip it back, straight back, straight line to um, the, what is this? It's a ring that the um, pulley goes through. Yeah, so essentially all that is acting as now is a side rein. We're on the other side and do the same thing. Now, a lot of people say they don't use Pessoas because they get tangled quite easily, which they do. However, I've got a little system with nine now and if I put it back in the same way each time, doesn't seem to get tangled, which is good. And I'll show you that at the end. Okay, so this is the first way that you can hook up <laughs> the Pessoa so that you can put the Pessoa on. So at the minute, there you go. So I have got it quite loose because he is just having a warm, a walk around to so have a warm up and a stretch. If you haven't used a Pessoa before, then I would suggest that you ask somebody to fit one to your horse because the one thing that you don't want to do is have it on too tight. There, so it is quite loose. You can have a stretch if he wants to. And I obviously wouldn't recommend trying to film while you first Pessoa, but Ed is obviously quite good to lunge because we do it once or twice a week quite easy so I'm going to give him another walk on the other rein now and then I'm going to show you the way that I prefer to do the Pessoa so the way I've got it fitted now is the way I prefer to have it on Ed so the only thing that I've changed is the clip that went straight back from this one on the bit the pulley one on the bit it went straight back to the ring there 
all it's done now is to the bit and then now it clips on underneath his legs so you should be able to see there is a little ring under there on this roller and most rollers do come with this ring un underneath okay so this now is the way i most like to pursue it. ed mainly i also have been pursuing billy like this because he struggles to stretch really and use his back so this really encourages them to stretch down and then also if they're moving themselves forward which is what the little fluffy rope behind the bum is to do is to encourage them to step up step under and keep the back end active and what it will do is help them use that top line and help build the top line so how the pursuer works really is on a bit of positive reinforcement so when they stretch chat them it's been lazy been out in the field all day good boy so when they stretch down the pursuer loosens slightly good boy and whoa good boy so as you can see he really likes to stretch down and over his back and that you can see what are you speaking at as you can see that when he does stretch down it lifts his back muscles up there you go the way i've got the pessoa connected now is probably the most similar to having a rider on board with a connection so as you can see the rope now goes to the bit and then up to the highest part of the roller so that is as it's going upwards that's most like having a rider on board so this so this way of the pursuer being put on is probably best for the horses that you want to encourage a bit of self carriage from because it lifts them up a little bit in front as well as keeping the back end active with the rope that goes around the bum oh we are being lazy today trot trot it's like i don't normally get pursued like this what's going on so you want to keep a nice straight line down the the lunge line which is quite difficult for me at the minute because i'm trying to video encouraging with a whip click <laughs> good boy steady so one thing that you don't want them to do is rush to get out of working themselves from behind steady there you go so you can see as he starts to slow down he starts to carry himself a lot more and it's okay if they pop the head up a few times just to balance themselves that's all he's doing there good boy Tratam. he also puts his head up every time he goes through the the hole in the lunge pen because he likes to have a spook at that even though it's been there for a good few times that we've been in here it's exactly the same in fact no we've had one panel put back on which is probably what it's spooking at so sometimes i do want to chase him a little bit just to encourage him forward to stop spooking good and then once he's going forward i'll steady him up a little bit steady good boy there we go good boy and walking on so some people ask as well do i canter them in the pursuer and I do, just not that much. So if they do need to go a little bit more forward, then I'll give them a little canter, but then I'll bring them back to trot. And stand. Woohoo. Stand dead. Good boy. Good boy. So as you can see, it goes through the ring. The pulley clip goes onto the bit and then up to the highest um ring on the roller now you've got all these rings that you could use if you wanted to but they're just the main three that i have used before so back to the middle one if they haven't really been pursued before just to get them used to the feeling of it because sometimes it can take them a little while to get used to that behind the bum when I'm lunging I don't wear back ones on Ed mainly because he no, ma no matter how many times I put back boots on him he just can't seem to get used to the feeling of having them on and he trots with his legs really high so I don't bother putting them on him but I do wear front ones sometimes we'll put over each boots on um, today I couldn't find them <laughs> so we've not got them on today I have had a question on whether I prefer boots or bandages and I'm going to do another video on that Ed says, are we done yet? <laughs>
So for anyone that's confused about the Pessoa and putting it on, because as you can see, when you get it, first of all, it's just a load of ropes. So I'm going to show you how to get it all untangled and also attach it to the roller so that you're ready to go with it. So when you first get your Pessoa, it might be a little bit tangled, but the easiest way to do it is if you lay it out on the floor. So this fluffy bit is the bit that goes behind the bum. Now what will come off each side of that is one single rope here with one clip on it. Now, and then these other bits might be a little bit tangled, but there will be one that goes to each side. I'm on that. Okay, so now what you do is lay them out. This is the one that goes in the middle. And there's one that goes on that side. So as you can see, we're not tangled now. You've got your one that attaches in the middle and then these to each side. So now if you get your roller and you lay this out on top. So some rollers will have a front and a back, whereas this one doesn't. The rings go each way, and then the little rings have got a little ring on each side. So you figure out which ring is in the middle. So for me, these little ones are in the very middle. And this clip here, which has one each side going back to the fluffy bit behind the bum, goes on the middle ring, like so. Okay, so now with these side bits, you want to thread them through one of the rings on the side. Now, I would normally use the lowest ring, but I use the one up mainly because on that side, my lowest ring is has snapped off. And that is because this roller, I've literally had it for probably 12 years. <laughs> It's lasted me forever. So I'm just going to put all of this rope through that one and go to the other side. Same on the other side. Put your clip through, pull it through, pull your bungee through as well. Like so. So when I'm storing a Pessoa, the clips that would go on to the bit, the bungee that would go onto the bit and the other clip that you would put wherever you want it for how you're working the horse, I always just clip back onto the ring here, just to keep them nice and tidy. Same on the other side. Clip. And then when I'm storing it, what I do is I get the fluffy bit on top of the roller and then you can pick it up from there. And that's the easiest way to do it because then you know that just goes on the horse like that, making sure this clips at the back and then you can fasten it up. And it's as easy as that. It might look complicated, but once you've got it sussed, it's not at all. Okay, so my top tip for taking it off and keeping it so it doesn't get tangled is clip up all the clips onto the side that you, the side on each side, and you'll see you know which side the ropes are going on. Unfasten it, slide it back a little bit, and then I get the bit from under his bum, and bring it up and put it up on top of it all and then you can just lift it off like so and I hang it up like that and then all you need to do is put it back on like so and all your ropes are on the right sides and it doesn't get tangled so yeah if you've liked this video then make sure you subscribe to my channel I'll be doing a few more videos like this uh, and if you've got any questions then just comment or you can message me on Instagram Every single day